opposition supporters on the streets of Malé as their leader, Ibrahim Mohamed Soleil, claimed victory in Maldives' presidential elections. For five years, President Abdullah Yameen has been in power. They say he has been dethroned and want him to concede. This is a moment of happiness. This is a moment of hope. This is a moment of history. For many of us, this has been a difficult journey. A journey that has led to a prison cell or years of in exile. Politics in the Maldives has been tumultuous since Mohamed Nasheed became its first democratically elected president 10 years ago. He was ousted in a coup and has spent most of his time in exile in Sri Lanka. He watched as his friend and ally Soleil rallied opposition leaders into a coalition to take power back. I like to congr congratulate um, Honorable Ibrahim Omar Soleil the president-elect. Uh, he has worked extremely hard and extremely cleverly during the last four or five years, especially since I was arrested. The Maldives has been in political turmoil under Yameen. During his five-year tenure, two former presidents, a prosecutor general and a number of opposition politicians have been jailed in controversial trials. On the eve of the vote, Soleil's campaign office was raided by police, but no evidence of electoral fraud was uncovered. This was a big of a shock. He, what he was hoping and he was aiming was to consolidate power. Um, and with the way that I think uh, prior to the election, the way that he had, um, as I would call it, manipulated the institutions, I think it, it ruefully backfired. Maldivians judged Yamin's tenure with a pen and paper in extraordinary numbers. Turnout was over 85% despite long queues. I came to vote at 8 in the morning and I was uh, waiting in the queue for all this time until 5, 5 p.m. So I was waiting nine hours before voting. President Yamin stayed silent as the votes were counted. He had been expected to cement his grip on power, but in public view, the ballots piled up against him. The Electoral Commission will announce the official result in seven days. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.